Hi guys, today we are going to talk about immunofixation. So what do you understand by immunofixation? So whenever we have a M band which is found on serum protein electrophoresis, then we do next test that we do is immunofixation. So immunofixation is done using anti-sera against IgG, IgA, IgM, Kappa and Lambda to start with to identify which protein is present how. So let's look at this band here. This is the first basic immunofixation in which you can see that this is the normal pattern of distribution. So you can see the most abundant immunoglobulin is IgG and normally the Kappa and Lambda are present in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So first uh, case that I'm showing here is polyclonal increase. So polyclonal increased, how do you know it's a polyclonal increase? Because kappa and lambda both bands are present diffusely and are in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Now, when does the problem start? So whenever we have to identify the monoclonal bands, you should understand that you have to identify a discrete, discrete M band. Okay. So look at the case here. So what do you see here? So you did you see a discrete band in IgG and a discrete band in lambda. So this is a typical case of monoclonal okay lambda and this case you will report it as IgG lambda. So this is how you report immunofixation. Please remember be very cautious even in the polyclonal band you can have a monoclonal peak. So be very very sure that whenever you are seeing the mono uh, whenever you're seeing a polyclonal or diffuse IgG make sure to see a discrete band in that you have to identify that. Now next is you also have to report whether the other immunoglobulins are decreased or not decreased because that also carries an implication here. So you have to report. So if like in this case you're seeing a faint IgA so you will see other immunoglobulins also and it is very important for you to report whether the other immunoglobulins are decreased or normal. Also remember so this is for the basic first start. Let me know if you like it. We will be uh, so I will be adding more cases like biclonal diseases or IgA myeloma or Waldenstrom's. I'll be happy to share more cases if you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you like it and you want more. Bye-bye.